played forward, but so Leather's beaten to it in the air, it falls to Constable, but Cavana dispossesses him, plays the ball back to Marshall. Marshall again, a good ball over the top, looking for Reeves. Reeves in there, just gets a bit of a push there, but he got in on the keeper there. There's a the ball bounced and uh, easily able to clear the ball. Again, it's flipped forward to the Easley on the attack now. It's uh, on the left-hand side with uh, number 10, Jay Reeves, and at the edge of the area, good effort. And uh, still not cleared properly by altering him, and the ball bouncing loose in the area. It's with uh, Constable. Constable getting a good cross in, and this time the uh, header uh, across the area is uh, able to be collected by uh, Dave Parton in the Altrincham goal. As the free kick's taken, deep into the Altrincham half, leather underneath it, having his shirt pull there, but it falls to Richmond. Richmond now tries to get round his man as well. Good ball inside to Perry. Perry able to control it, does well, brings the ball there. Good ball now to Williams in the centre circle. Williams with room in front of him, trying to play the ball in for Reeves. Reeves is in, he's rolled it into the back of the net. Excellent goal there by Olsen. Ten minutes gone, it was a good build up there. Richmond did well on the edge of the area, brought the ball out, played it to Perry. Perry inside to Williams. Williams brought the ball forward from the centre circle towards the uh, edge of the area, and then he rolled a pass in for Reeves for a run on to and was. Uh, Flitney came out, Reeves was able to roll the pass back in to, uh, into the goal, pass Flitney, and that's a great start there and a great goal, John. Yeah, you're spot on with the description there, Paul, because it was, it was, it was, a, it was a, a predator's finish, but, but what about the build-up? As you said quite rightly, Simon Richmond, superb, skipping past his man, clipping it inside. Carl, Carl Perry was under so much pressure, but he, he, he held off two or three challenges, put it through to Reeves, and Reeves slotted it home. Great stuff. Marshall this time getting a push in the back there, or pushing the back on uh, James Constable. Short ball forward up to the edge of the area, it's flicked on there, could be dangerous, and that's a poor goal there, conceded there. It was a poor kick, well it was a good free kick in, it should have been cleared there, I think it was Kyle Perry who missed his header. And it's uh, number 17. Paul Reid, the captain, who uh, managed to turn the ball in. It was flicked on and uh, on the six-yard box. All he had to do was stick a leg out and uh, divert it past uh, Dave Part, and it really was a soft and poorly defended goal, John. And Laurie, now then, can he get a cross in? We've got an ultimate player on the ground as the ball comes over Marshall. It's Perry that took a whack. He's getting back to his knees. Marshall on the edge of the area now. Playing the ball back to Richmond. Richmond, good pass inside, but uh, well, turned inside. Back to Williams, to Richmond, trying to get Williams and almost got in there. As it's in swinging corner, coming into the back post. It's a great header there by Marshall and flicked over there by uh, Flitney. But, uh, Marshall rolls above uh, everybody else there, got a good powerful header in, just under the bar, but uh, straight at uh, Flitney. Good in swinging corner again, and this time it's uncleared. Oh. <laughs> A spectacular overhead kick attempted there by Haven. It's, uh, headed well clear by uh, Leather, back to Richmond. Richmond collects it, short pass to Cavana. Cavana out to uh, Leather. Leather, short pass back to Cavana. Forward to uh, Laurie in a central position now. Up to Reeves. Reeves, good ball forward for Laurie to chase. On the right-hand side, great cross coming in. And it's almost there. Uh, well, it could quite easily have been an own goal there. As Laurie got in a good position on the right-hand side. Out to uh, Collins. Collins in central midfield position now. He's got Cavana in front of him. Short ball to Streven. Streven's out onto the uh, left hand side here to Green, the left back. Uh, he goes trying to get around the outside of Richmond. Good cross coming in. That's hit Richmond, but uh, not yet clear. This could be dangerous. That's, oh, it was almost a deflection and a goal there for Easley. Spotted in swinging corner. Into the near post. It's headed by Marshall. Only as far as uh, Michael Green. Michael Green looking to get a shot away, but that's over the bar. Left footed, hits it across, but Luca Haven calmly, very calmly to Scott Leather, Leather back to Richmond, Richmond long down the line over Perry's head, Leather nicely on the chest to Kavanagh, Kavanagh inside to Williams, Williams to James Lurie, James Lurie now turning nicely, 
Scott Leather on the overlapping fullback, and um, Simon Richmond going outside him, but it's back inside to Kavanagh. Kavanagh playing it long, and that's a nice ball. And oh, look. <laughs> what a goal! What a goal by Griffin! Adam Griffin there. Absolutely awesome goal. You've got to watch that one on all TV later. There was a ball inside to Kavanagh. Kavanagh hits it long across the face of the goal. Mark Griffin steaming in off the left. Takes it first time on the volley. And it's in the back of the net before you can blink. At this level, you would expect that ball to be out of the ground and over the housing estate. But not a dirty game, played in good spirit so far by these teams and um, <coughs> both teams fresh up from, in the Eastleys case, the Conference South and has of course Conference North, so, uh, oh, oh gosh, that, I was worried there, that one looked like it was uh, going to nestle in the top corner and he goes back to Dan Spence, three at right back, who plays it all the way back to number 16, Will Evans. Evans across to Paul Reed, the captain. Reed hits it long, but Marshall <coughs> nips it in from the attacker. Uh, but Kavanagh, who's never normally asleep on the ball, was there. And um, uh, there's a breakaway, but good, good defending by Damien Reeves. But oh no, that's an equalizing goal. And it all comes from a very sloppy piece of play from the captain, Peter Kavanagh who, as John said, has been having an excellent season for us, but he just wasn't awake there, let the ball be taken off his feet, and down into the left wing, and although there was a lovely attempt from Damien coming back from centre forward to try and block it, the uh, <coughs> attacking uh, winger, I think it was, got the ball across, and um, it was a straightforward tap in there, John. Disappointing given the... Uh 1500 or so that we're, uh, we're here at the weekend is altering him on the attack now. Richmond to Perry, Perry back to uh, Williams. Williams forced to play the ball back to Leather. Leather looks to bring the ball forward and then lays it off to Kivana. Kivana short ball forward to Perry. Perry controls it first time, then pass into Lorry. Lorry does well to control it. Great turn. Oh, he's pushed over there, referee. He went too fast him. Dan Spence, the right back, gave him a push and the referee waves play on, and that really was a ridiculous decision. But Altrincham still on the attack now, falls to Richmond, Richmond in now, going to get a shot away, it wouldn't quite fall to him as the ball was played in by Laurie. In swinging corner to the back post, goal header there by uh, Tom Marshall, unmarked to the back post. And he gets a return pass and then back to Haven, Haven the long ball forward looking for Reeves, Reeves only partially wins it but it falls to Perry, Perry to Richmond to Reeves, Reeves looks to turn. Falls over, still battling on the ground. We've got two, three players, a bit of a melee taking place there. Falls to Reeves. Reeves now can he get the ball away? He's in. Oh, it's a good flick there, but it's still a lot cleared. It's a great shot there by uh, Please. First attempt and uh, hits the uh, Eastern defenders and goes out for a three. Uh, hit him on the top of the uh, shoulder there and uh, just halted the momentum, but it's uh, quickly taken by. Uh, Griffin to Richmond, across the park now along the halfway line to Leather. Leather looking to switch play out onto the left to Griffin. Controls it this time with his chest, gets a good cross coming in. That's great! And that's Damien Reeves who's got a head to that one! And a great work goal yet again, the third one this afternoon. The ball was played out by Leather on the far side, a good cross field ball to Adam Griffin. He took his time, picked his spot, but a great ball in to the edge of the six-yard box. And there was Damien Reeves. Unmarked to head the ball past uh, Ross Blitney into the goal for his sixth goal of the season. That makes it Altingham three, Eastley two, and can Altingham hang on again? Griffin, Griffin, good crossing again, looking for it. Falls now to Laurie. Laurie now look to shape it, but uh, decides against it, and that's a poor attempt there in the end by James Laurie. And um, Carl Perry plays out to James Laurie. Laurie across to, to Damien. Damien takes it on his thigh, but um, it just rolls fractionally too far, and Flitney um, gathers the ball. 
But here we have Nikki Clay on the ball. And uh, Nikki, not quite, not quite on the ball there. And the referee further endears himself because Richmond puts in a tackle that several Eastley players have put in worse than that, but of course it gives the foul against Richmond. And, um, oh no, and from that, they've absolutely nailed an equaliser there. I'm afraid uh, number 10, Jay Reason, has a really, really beautiful third goal there for them to make it 3 all. He curled it into the far post. Uh, Dave Parton had absolutely no chance there. <clears throat> there was a collision with, I think it was James Laurie, um, and Laurie just sort of stood his ground. There was a collision, and um, he just wanted to make sure he wasn't giving away the free kick and from the loose ball. Kyle getting shoved in the back, but there's a, there's a, the ball's through to Damien, and Damien tries the snap early shot that sometimes can work John because sometimes those shots catch the keeper unawares if you go early comes back to Nicky Clee who turns well feeds Reeves Reeves inside to Laurie and then finally we get we get a nice break of the ball to Lurry and this time the referee decides to give the free kick Nicky pauses, chips the ball through uh, and then um, and it's headed off Marshall run really well there good ball by Nicky Marshall heads it this really will be the last opportunity and James Lurry hits it long and oh Another good header by Tom Marshall, straight into the hands of the keeper. And the referee blows for the final whistle. It's Altrincham 3, Eastley 3. A very, very entertaining game. Three great goals from Altrincham. Uh, a great equaliser for Eastley 2.